Hey, what is up, Internet? Kyle here, Slapshot Toys. It is hell of a real derby day. Uh, so this is the day where Columbus Crew and FC Cincinnati are playing each other up in Columbus. And here, everybody behind us, we are all getting ready for the match. We're going to go up, we're going to tailgate at Matt Free Stadium. Uh, I have a ton of guys here from the Pride, so it should be a good time. But right now we're just trying to play Jenga or Tetris and try to pack the cars and get everything ready to go. Go up there, find our spot in the lot, and then just party until the match. Um, should be a really big game, expecting a huge crowd, expect a lot of blue and orange up there. So it should be a good time. So we will see you guys up in Columbus. Or before we go, we're just gonna play a little soccer in the parking lot. So we are here in Columbus, Maverick Stadium right there. Thank you, Dick. So we got all the tailgating all set up. I don't know if you can kind of see off there in the distance, we got quite a few FC Cincinnati fans already uh, here in the parking lot. I'm gonna show you kind of some of the footage of the tailgating and just the general nonsense that's gonna happen here over the next four hours before we have to be in the stadium. But uh, Brian kicked the ball <laughs> over the fence. Oh, Ooh, I would have got you. Yeah. I, w I couldn't even let that happen <laughs> right. to you. There's no way. I appreciate it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we're just going to hang out. Got some music, got a ton of beer. So, Grainworks, awesome brewery in Westchester. Uh, brewed this with uh, the Pride Norton. So, uh, this is our beer that was specifically brewed for this match. So, uh, we're enjoying a bunch of this. I know I may have some younger viewers, so uh, if you're not over 21, don't drink. But if you're over 21, definitely give it a try. It's available all over the place right now. But, uh, here we go. Actually, I got to thank the weatherman in here. You're welcome. You had uh, some great weather the last three weeks from my band camp. You're welcome. You know, appreciate it. Can we owe you something? Yes. I'm trying to make an aim, yeah. I'm trying to disrupt your show. Yeah. We need to march in at 6. And as you can tell behind me, the FC Cincinnati tailgate here is in full swing. A ton of people here. Behind me, there's all the pride. And uh, yeah, it's been a fantastic time just sharing beer, sharing pizza, sharing all sorts of different snacks, food. Uh, media has been walking in and out the entire time. It's been just an absolutely unbelievable experience. Uh, I did share some beer and pizza with crew supporters. Um, so far, everybody's been super chill, just really kind of friendly back and forth. A uh, little bit of banter kind of being passed back and forth, but that's to be expected. But uh, yeah, just a really cool experience so far. And yeah, I think at uh, 6.15, or no, quarter till six, I think we're gonna start packing up. We need to start marching over to the stadium, which I mean, it's literally right there, so it's not far. We need to march over there at like uh, six o'clock, and then they're gonna let us in at 6.15 and then escort us up to our uh, seats, which I don't know if you'll be able to see or not, but uh, we've actually already put like kind of, let's see if I can uh, get it like right there. We've actually put like some uh, of our orange and blue checkered banners and everything already up there. So we are ready to go. Uh, this is super exciting. 
Uh, it should be a fantastic match. And let's go FCC. <laughs> So it is six o'clock. We are getting ready to march into the stadium. As you can see behind me, a ton of FC Cincinnati fans. This is an amazing turnout. We're all ready to march into Matt Free Stadium, take on the crew. Uh, so MLS security regulations, we have to be in the stadium at 6.15. So it's literally like a two minute walk over there. So uh, sorry to march, show you guys some footage of that. But uh, tailgate ended up being absolutely amazing. Uh, just an absolute blast with everybody. Uh, so yeah, we're excited to uh, get in the stadium and get this match going. Yeah, I mean, I need to, but I don't know if they're going to let me. Sorry. Excuse me, excuse me. I want my girl, lead us. 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 Lead us.
defender from Gahanna, Ohio, number 21, Alex Scott! A defender from Awuchu Breaku, Ghana, number 25, match what a fantastic evening sorry I didn't really take a whole lot of footage to show you guys during the match so the whole first half the Sun was actually like glaring in our eyes and some of the footage you can kind of see it but it was just like blowing out the camera lens and you just couldn't see anything other than the glare of the Sun and honestly the second half especially the last 20 minutes 
we were really back on our heels. Columbus was really pushing. And it was just super exciting, super intense, just a lot going on. So yeah, I didn't really take a whole lot of footage, but I hope you guys enjoyed the footage I did take. So the shot actually of the first goal, I accidentally threw my phone. I was so excited and I just like absolutely erupted in cheers that I actually threw my phone. So all of a sudden I realized my phone's like 10 feet above me. I'm just trying to catch it and I did catch it, but then I just, so I just kept it in there. So that was kind of a cool little shot. But uh, yeah, awesome crowd. This was Coach Jan's first match. And I absolutely love the high attacking style of play that he implemented. Uh, like, and this is one week of training, so these guys really aren't used to it. And you kind of tell by the end, because Columbus really came alive in that second half and really started to kind of push us quite a bit. Uh, like I said, they hit, uh, they had a wide open net that they skied. Some people have been saying on replays that uh, Waston actually got his foot in front of it. Uh, I haven't actually watched a close replay, but definitely a wide open net that they hit the top of the crossbar and it bounced over. And then I think they had at least two, if not three, more posts and crossbars in the last probably 10 minutes and stoppage time. So just super tense. Uh, I'm going to say that the reason they missed all those shots is because that penalty shouldn't have happened. So the soccer gods knew this game should have ended in a tie because they should have tied it then. Columbus' the second goal was just an absolute rocket. Not a whole lot I could do about that. But uh, yeah, I think once Jans gets some... Um, definite uh, kind of time to get these work with these guys and get them fit for how he wants to play. I think this is going to be a fantastic team. Really saw some stuff I liked. Uh, Entienz Jr. and Jao coming in, both fantastic. And the guy I want to talk about the most is Gutman. He played phenomenally there on the back line. Uh, there were times where you didn't know if he was a winger, if he was a defender. Like He was just all over the field creating plays, creating opportunities, getting back on defense. Just absolutely all over the place, so I'm super excited to watch him here in the next coming weeks and all throughout next year. Uh, so yeah, some stuff I really liked. Honestly, Columbus should have probably won that game, but uh, I will take the 2-2 draw and one point back here in Cincinnati. And the second part of Hell is Real is actually going to be in Nipper Stadium here in two weeks, so I'll definitely be filming for that one. Uh, and I think, yeah, it's just going to be... I don't know. I think that's a good start to a rivalry. You just get a lot of, not bad blood or anything like that, but there's a little chippiness to the game. Uh, definitely, you know, some of the fans, I think, just kind of going at one another with a chance and everything. So I think it's definitely a good start. And I think playing within two weeks is really just going to kind of push that even further. So that's going to be super exciting. Like I said, I'm going to film that whole thing. So you'll have part two uh, to all of this here shortly. Uh, but yeah, the overall, just a fantastic trip up to Columbus. I think everybody had a wonderful time with some great soccer and some great tailgating and just getting to hang out with everybody. It's just an absolute blast for an away day. But uh, I think that is going to do it for me this evening. So uh, I want to thank you guys so much for checking out this video. It means the absolute world that you guys are watching them. And be on the lookout for the next Hell is Real installment when they come down to Nippert. And once again, that's going to do it for me. So thank you guys so much. And I'll catch you guys later. See ya.